Alright, today we're going to be making stick figure interactions. Just go to Action Script 3 and go to your line tool. Make sure the stroke is at 2. Now just make a line going from one side to the other and make like a box around this size coming out of it. Now go up here to layer 1, double click, and make it BG for background. Now lock it and go here where it says new layer, make a new layer. Now layer 2, make sure you're on layer 2, not background. And zoom in once. Go to your brush tool, change the size to whatever you want it. And you're going to start off by making a stick figure. Now say like you screw up like that hit control Z to delete it and now I'm gonna go up to here which is probably on the rectangle tool hold it down and go to oval tool and make a head now click on the selection tool highlight it right click and go you can't see it on the screen but it says convert to symbol click on it and then type in head click OK click on this click backspace to delete it I'll be up here in your library, which I could drag it on whenever, but we're not going to need it right now. Now, click F7, and now your stick figure should be deleted. Clip, click here on onion skin, and now redraw your stick figure walking to the box. So you want to start off with its, like, its legs bent, that leg kind of going up, body slants a little, arms like that. And then you hit F7 again. So now we have, if you go up here to your timeline, drag it, drag it back, you have him walking, taking one step. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this box and open it up. So hit F7 again. Have him starting to bend down, one arm like that, this arm starting to come around. So then he opens up the box. Now to open it, have him grab on to like the edges, like that. And then whenever he lifts up like that, take your line tool and just have that like that. Like it's a lid and he's opening it. And then just keep on doing that. Now that's open, just have it straight, it doesn't matter. Have him reach into the box. So go like that, like there's something in the box and he's going to grab it. And you're going to have to keep on making the line for uh, the box. Now to make him reach into the box, it's going to go like that, like his hands are going to start to disappear because makes it look like he's actually reaching in. Now you're going to have him reaching out. And I got to add the line here. And now whenever it comes out holding the object, we're just going to pretend it's going to be a gun. We'll make that in the uh, library. Well, I'll make it a symbol in a sec. Now you pretend he's holding a gun. Now hit F7 one more time and make him in like a position where he'd be in position he could just stand there for a second. So I'm going to have it like that. Now hit F6 like three times. So he's, it makes a keyframe, stays like that, but make sure the box lid isn't there whenever you hit F6. See how it's highlighted? And now go back on your timeline. You're going to make it, you're going to go one by one, which you could also hit F6 to go one by one. And you're going to make it so the box is falling down. See, I hit F6, it goes there. And then the last one, just have it like that. So F6, 
makes it so you could just keep on creating the same one. If I keep on clicking it, you see that being made up there, and nothing's happening to here. So I'm just going to delete them. Now, once you do that, just hit F7 again, and you're going to have him pointing the gun. You're going to slowly have him make it move up. And hit F6 two more times so he stays like that. Now we're going to make the gun. So go back to the line tool and go to stroke and make it at 1. Now this one, you could zoom in. Remember, I'm at 200 right now. So I'm going to go back to 200, but first I'm just going to zoom into his hand like that so I can be more detailed with the gun. Doesn't need to be on his hand right now, and you'll see why. Now highlight it, right click, and do convert symbol, name it gun. Click OK. Now click on this, zoom back out to 200, and click on the gun, click backspace so you can delete it, and go on the timeline, and go back to where he is lifting the gun out, which would be right there. Now grab the gun, put it right here. Now it's not going to be perfectly straight when he's lifting it out. So you're going to hit Q on the keyboard, which makes it so you could twist the gun. So twist it kind of down, hit F6. Grab the gun again. I'm going to twist it a little bit. Now right here is when he's holding it up. So you could hit V because you're not going to have to twist it anymore. You can have it where he's holding it. And then hit F6 again. Keep adding the gun there. And now hit F7 to make a new one because you came here. And you want to make it where his arms go up just a little, like that, just a little bit. Take the gun, hit Q again, and just twist it once like that, rep representing that he shot it. Now that he shot it, hit F7 again. and make his hand go back down to how it was before. Gradually make him go down with his hands. Now once you get to like where it's kind of down like that, just hit F6 like four times. Now go back to where he shoots it, which is right there where it goes up. Go one before it goes up, where it's right there and zoom in a lot click on the line tool and make this point five and now go up here to that and make it kind of orange and I'll make a muzzle flash I have to click on the paint bucket yeah and right about there just fill it in. That's going to be your muzzle flash. You only need it for one shot, like that. Now, when it goes up like that, you want to zoom back out to 200 and take the line tool, make it black again. Just make everything black again. And have it make sure it's kind of lined up with that. And have it like right there. Actually, that's a little too close. You want to have it like halfway from him to the end. So that's uh, almost halfway. That's good enough right now. Now that you have that, you're going to go to about here. Now once you have it here, you want to click right click on the screen and go to rulers and actually have him standing up have that line right at his neck and go back one frame when he's there now you're going to go all the way over here and you're going to make another stick figure walking onto the screen it's okay if he's off the screen 
and have him about at the line so he's the right height now this is where you hit F6 not F7 F6 and he disappears but he still saves because you hit F6 it's just going frame by frame like that where he shoots okay so this is right before he shoots hit F6 that's when he shoots F6 well go back now whenever you hit F6 and he's shooting you still want the body to be the same not like falling then hit F6 again you see the bullet you have him like starting to fall but not completely and then once you hit F6 again now he's known a shot so you can make him fall to the ground now you're gonna go back again all the way to the beginning and you're gonna start adding in the heads so go to here where your library is and go to head click on that you can click right here and drag the head onto the body. Click F6 and keep on dragging. Now once you added all the heads to that guy, go back like halfway. Go back to where this guy pops on the screen and add a head on for him. Now, go back to the beginning one more time. You could click Fit Window now. You take the line, delete the line. I'm just going to put it up there. And go to here where it says FPS, frames per second. Click on it and make it, depending on how your video looks, I'm going to make mine 12. Actually, I'll make it 14. So the frame rate's different, so it won't go too fast. And here's what it'll look like. Here it is one more time. I can see it. So he walks over, takes out the gun, shoots the guy. Alright, that's it.